Friends, it is um, no stretch, I think, of the imagination that our culture, our land and our people are engulfed with division and confusion. Um, the division and confusion that has engulfed society is a real sign of the enemy having successfully planted weeds amongst the wheat. Division, uh, estrangement from one another and from God is the fruit of Satan. Now friends, a real example of the confusion and how estranged we have become from truth and reality is that the Irish people are being called upon to vote yet again on two referendums next weekend, more tampering with the Irish constitution. This is more revealing than we may think. In short, everybody, I think it represents uh, even more proof that women are under attack more than they ever have been in the history of our culture. The fact that on Friday the 8th of March we've been asked to vote on deleting two very important articles in our constitution that offers essential rights and protection of the government for mothers and for families and for primary carers. In other words, everybody, changing our constitution where extraordinary recognition is given to women, where the work in the home is seen as vital for society and the common good and the foundation of our culture. I mean, who can argue with that? We've been asked now to delete both of articles that reflects a more modern Ireland, where the words women and motherhood are being more or less replaced with non-gender specific language. Now the level of stupidity and madness at work here is hard to fathom and to take serious. And it makes me question those who are proposing this, had they ever a home in the first place? I mean, think about it, everybody. The referendum that takes aim at women and mothers takes place on the 8th of March, a day that is internationally known as Women's Day. Then two days later, on the 10th of March, we celebrate culturally Mother's Day. The mockery here is plain for anyone who's paying attention. When is this going to stop? When are we actually going to begin to wake up, friends, and take to the reality of the genuine planned destruction of the family and what it means to be a human being? What it means to be a man or to be a woman? It is by definition satanic. This referendum, it is a sign of a society that is now beginning to tear in two. A society that's separating truth from reality. All done in the name of being a more progressive in our language. And this course comes from a political class that at the moment seems to struggle to define what a woman is. And now friends, this separation of truth from reality, this is what happens when we strive as a society to divorce ourselves from God. Reason, critical thinking of our faculties, logic, meaning, hope, truth, reality, all these good things we need as human beings to survive come to us from God. Who he himself is all these things par excellence. In other words, he is truth itself. He is reason itself. He is hope. He is meaning itself, etc. And without our focus on the Lord, we are in serious danger of losing these important aspects of what it means to be a human being, which I fear is what is happening. It's deadly serious, and it is no joke. As a church, we are blessed with the fruit, uh, with the faith that we have been given and handed on to, a faith that is very clear in its identity. A faith that powerfully upholds the dignity of family, motherhood, fatherhood, of fathers and mothers, of humanity itself. A church which stands shoulder to shoulder with amazing saints over the past 2,000 years who for rooted their deep love for Jesus in who they were as a man or a woman. St. Joseph, St. John Paul II, Catherine of Siena, St. Joan of Arc. The list is absolutely endless. And because of this, we are now moving through this period of woke and ideological agendas that has split so many minds and hearts that is now threatening to rip apart our society. Like I said before, friends, in the years to come, we, what will be left as a church in this country, will be very small. All these big parishes, all these churches, it'll be no more. It'll be small little communities dotted throughout this country. As usual, the church will be there to pick up the shards of a nation and of a people demoralized and fragmented due to the inevitability of consequences of the current political and gender ideologies that have been forced upon us with a hammer. 
This is a fight, friends. Make no mistake about it, we are in a fight. A real spiritual fight that is now clearly beginning to impact on our everyday lives as a nation. And friends, this is where the gifts of the Holy Spirit that we receive the confirmation really begins to take hold in our lives if we take God seriously. For example, the gift of supernatural courage. You know, having the guts to stand up for what is right, true and real and good in this world and holy. Having guts to stand up to the gender ideologies of our ages that are actively undermining and attempting to destroy our basic understanding of humanity. The gift of right counsel, knowing what is good and what is evil, both words are very real realities. A knowledge that only comes from us knowing the Lord Jesus. As a church, everybody, we need to begin to build up soldiers for Christ, healers for Christ even more so, in our increasingly deflated society. So I'm asking us all now today just to turn to our Blessed Mother, ask her to proceed for us here in Ireland as a nation once again, for that next week the human dignity of our mothers, our sisters, our wives is upheld, defended and safeguarded for generations to come. All holy men and women of Ireland, pray for us.